Oh boy. False friend. It's the level of a hundred cavaliers. Yeah. And, okay, so back in Game Boy Advance, I, I get that um it oh, like it it has a lot of remakes, like you have Yoshi's Island Mario World and all that, but mm -hmm. you also have like you have a new Zelda game, you have Metroid Fusion, which is like the first 2D Metroid for the first Metroid in like a while. That's true. N64 did not have any Metroid. There was no that whole generation there was no Metroid. Well, Prime. Prime came out I think on the same day as Fusion though. Oh oh that makes sense. So like you had Fusion, you had... Um, it's Mr. Purple Hair. You had Warrior where the series was birthed on the GBA. Okay, I will say Twisted is awesome, but the original Warrior Wear for the Game Boy Advance, I hated it. Really? Oh, well, yeah, we just because we played the we demo. We played the demo at Target, and like... <laughs> they must we, have yeah. had all the famous games. Like, Catch! We didn't <laughs> understand the purpose that every game is like five seconds, so we're like, this is dumb. And then years later, when we played Touched and Twisted, we're like, oh. That's why. Um, the Game Boy Advance one is literally the same game as the GameCube one. The GameCube, GameCube one, one just does have multiplayer. multiplayer, though, which is yeah. entertaining. For sure. Um, but, or like Fire Emblem, that was the first time they came over to America. That's true. And, like, my gosh, without, like, Game Boy Advance, you wouldn't have Fire Emblem, which is crazy. Absolutely. Um, it also had, like, uh, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland was a remake of the uh, Kirby game, but, like, the, Amazing, yeah, Mirror was, was Amazing Mirror was original. Amazing was original. You had two generations of Pokemon. Yeah, if you're into that. And if you're, which I, I was never a huge Pokemon guy, but, like... I know it's, like, one of the biggest series Nintendo has, sure. so I respect that. <clears throat> I don't know. Game Boy Advance is just a good system. Elwood does not like war. Well, I mean, who does? Apparently Hector has no problem with it, though. It's like, okay, so nowadays, like, if you're used to, if you're used to playing, like, more serious games, the dialogue here is a little stiff. This was, like, this game actually has a competent story. I won't, does, I won't yeah. pretend that it has a great story, but, like, for as what... As far as video games go, this has a great story, let's be honest. Uh, I wouldn't, also, okay, I still wouldn't kids, go... this guy's a red unit, which means he's a bad guy. Yeah. So, I still wouldn't say it has a great story. It has a good story. It's a little... If you play a lot of RPGs, it's a little generic. The thing I will say about Fire Emblem is the characters, especially if you go and get the support conversations, are just like a step above. Yeah, they have a lot of, of depth. Ones. They have a lot of depth. They have a lot of personality. They have a lot of individual motivations, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, which that just takes this game to another level for me. Like the gameplay is super fun, but like I actually would like look forward to seeing where the plot went next the first time I was playing it. Yeah. Sorry, we're skipping over all the dialogue, but I mean, we're not skipping it. We're just talking over it. Yeah. But, I mean, I would... I don't know. It's your, You're the YouTube expert, obviously. I would personally rather... Like, right. that way... I mean, if they want to just read the dialogue, they can mute us. For, you know what I mean? Like, That's true. So... Um, yeah, basically... Maybe I'll give, like, an abridged version of the plot in the, like, uh, description. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can... I mean, Craven Kerr! Okay, so the older Fire Emblem games, like, went really out of their way to not swear... <laughs> which is really funny. Bat done. Yeah, in, in the GameCube one, she goes like, "Oh, like there's a, an enemy." He goes like, "Bat done." You're like, "What?" The oh, heck? it's the creepy old lady who oh, tells yeah. your fortune. <laughs> yeah, I think her name is Hannah. <laughs> oh, this Hector is, is like super rude to his elders, by the way. <laughs> oh, Hector's just pretty rude in general. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you're right, Hannah. Hannah. Also, this is the first level where that we're playing that has rain. Oh yeah, rain. Rain is terrible. That. See, a lot of, like, the fog of war and rain and snow and stuff... It doesn't enhance in, it. Hap well, no, it does, I'd say. It happens in Advance Wars 2, and I always think of it as more of an Advance Wars thing. Oh, which, by the way, Advance Wars, very close to my top five Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> it's so hard, but it's I, so good. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to trade any items or anything? Okay, so I'll introduce this area. So this is the first level where we have a preparation screen. Yeah. So we get to pick which units we want for the level. Uh, we can take all the units up for this time, but that's not going to stay the same. Uh, we've got the trading sequence. We can just have our units trade fans. And now we have Merlenis, who is technically a unit, but we're, it's he's not like belonging to either of us because he's very right. interesting We're kind of sharing one. him. He's like a tent. And he basically exists, so if you if you guys are like, oh, you have, they can only carry five items, and if you get a sixth item, you can send one of them to Merlinus and he'll hold right. on to them You don't have you. to throw anything out, which is great. He can carry a maximum of 100 items before... I've never actually run out, though. Oh, I always run out, because I'm a hoarder. But, and I also tend to buy way too much. Well, you're so, not going to do that now, because... Or actually, well... So I have, um... So I can't do anything with his units, but... I have more money than you. <laughs> I haven't well, written yeah, down exactly do. what we have, but... I don't think it's going to be a problem. So, for example, I don't really want the mine right now, so I'll give that to Merlinus. 
Yeah, and so we, he has all these different sections, items, dark magic, all that stuff, bows, swords. Doesn't have anything now, we can store stuff there. We also get Hannah the Fortune Teller. I never used this in the game, like, I don't think I've even used this once. Doesn't she basically tell you like how to recruit characters and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, or like if the level's going to rain, and it is for this level. Uh, yeah, it's basically... Uh, but you have to pay her, I think, don't you? Yeah, you do, which is kind of weird, because you're, like, giving her shelter and stuff, but she still charges, but Excuse whatever. Excuse me. Um, all right. Good choice, Dorcas needs a hand axe. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I have anything else. Oh, Matthew had an extra set of vulnerabilities. Matthew also has a torch, oh, no, no, he which you may not want. Well... No, I'm going to keep it on him, just... Well... The next Fog of War level is the Dread Isle, and that's a... That's a while. That's a while. Oh, okay, so the other thing I guess we're going to have to think about... Remember what is remember stuff, what is right? what. Yeah. Uh, I'll kind of just do honor system on that person. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm good. All right. Do you want to save just in case? Yeah, just in case. It's fine. Uh, right, yeah, well, I guess we, we're we not can restarting. take all these. Oh, one thing though, if you go to check map, you can uh, choose which uh, place your characters appear on. So if you're like, oh, I want Matthew to start way over there. Oh, do like, you want to take that into account at all? Or I don't care. I never really use that. I was going to say, how much. are we going to do that with... Uh... I guess like whoever goes first for the level can, can choose. So you go there. first for this level, though, right? Yeah. Um, one thing, I do want Marcus in the position he is right now so he can rescue Urk very quickly. I also want Sarah at least kind of close to him. Okay. Yeah, so, so okay, she's so, as far away so as possible. Is Urk right the only guy you get on this level? And Priscilla. So you, oh, but okay. we see Urk first. So you get Urk and I get Priscilla. Okay, that works because then we both yeah, have a so, healing. Yeah, character. so then you have a healing. I character. really like Urk though. He's a mage. Uh, Honestly, though, good. Urk is like barely better than Pent, who's a sage you get later. Oh, I really game. want Pent. He's so Pent good. Pent is really, really good. One of the best pre-promoted units in the game. Um, I'm gonna swap spots with him. Hey, is that Dorcas? Oh, only wait. just the amount of care and detail that goes into this game is oh, crazy. Oh, actually, wait. Like, there's oh, certain characters <laughs> who only appear, like, in uh, Hector's story, which is the second story. There's certain levels that are unique to it. Mm -hmm. There are side quests that are almost impossible to get, like, if you don't know exactly how to do them. Um, it's, there's all the supports. In this game it just is for a, for a portable game. And not yeah. that I'm belittling portable games by any means. I love portable games. I, but come like, on! I want... It will not let me, like, move for a location. You have to go to oh, formation. formation. Whoops. Uh, I guess I can't move any of your guys, really, so... Nope. Put Low in there. Bart Ray, you're back like there. That's no, that's not. I, I checked. Know. Oop, that guy has a vulnerary. Hey, I'm going to steal it. All right. <laughs> Ow! Okay. <laughs> Why don't we just play? I'm try Sorry. I apologize for that. I was not familiar with that screen. Let's roll. Uh, okay, yes, you can choose whether you want to deploy Miranus or want, want, not. There, there's no penalty there's for There's literally no penalty him. for Even if he dies, Even he if... comes back. He just doesn't level up. Yeah. If he uh, survives for the whole uh, level, he'll level up. And if he gets to max level, he turns into like a wagon and you can move him around and stuff. Oh yeah, that's good. Because right now he can't move. America, let's take the point. There may be many of them, but numbers are meaningless. We are Knights of Fere. These mice of Laos will never defeat us. And here is Urk. Okay, how old is Urk supposed to be? And also, it's Rebecca's father. Oh yeah, he's back. <laughs> he lives in every village. Of course. Um, I'd say Urk is probably like... Realistically, okay, he's probably like 17. <laughs> yeah, but like he looks like a kid. He's old enough to apprentice, and man, okay, speaking of Fire Emblem characters who need a haircut, that dude needs a haircut. I don't know, I think it's stylish. He's a level 1, but he has a goddess icon, which is, I guess, alright. So you've got Marcus, uh, yeah. and you've got Dorcas. Uh, this is another level where if you're not careful, People you can easily die. get overwhelmed, yeah. You will die. Like, again, this is another level where I don't push forward all the way until you have, like, your entire well, you army you want to push there. forward at least to get Urk, though. Well, yeah, but then once you get that, I actually usually retreat a little so bit. So if, if Link wanted to be a jerk, he could let Urk die, but hopefully he won't want to do that. <laughs> So yeah, we're going against a lot of Cavaliers on this level. Yep. 
Cavaliers are kind of one of the, the more common units in the game, in all honesty, but... Yeah, I would say so. Um, okay, so I was thinking last night. Okay, so there are... So we talked about the weapon triangle. Yeah. There are also... What is the weapon that's really good against horses? Is it... Uh, well, each class of weapon has one. For lances, it's the horse slayer. For swords, it's the long sword. And then for axes, the it's long the sword. Halbord, halbord. I was thinking of the long sword. That's right. The halberd. <sighs> Also, uh, you can see this village down here. This is where another unit resides. Priscilla, she's the next healer. And so, like, this that's another cool thing, is, like, some of the characters in this game, like, you can totally pass them by if you don't, like, check every right. nook and cranny. Ooh, Most also, of them can only be recruited by, like, certain characters. That village has a special sword in it, the Iron Blade. Huh? Uh, oh. I can take care of those guys. You can? All right. Yeah. I have Hector and Matthew in. Oh, I forgot about Hector, yeah. I'm going to move Sarah... Up like here. Okay. Oh, nobody She's has out of the way, and there's nobody there. But people have javelins. He's got an iron lance. He can't reach her. He's got oh, okay. an iron lance. He can't reach her. All right. All right. All right. It may seem stupid that we're stealing like really tiny things like vulneraries, but it adds up. Believe oh, me. it absolutely does. Especially for playing on hard mode. So the wolf bail is also good against people on horseback. It's too. also good against people who are armored. You yep. can see how the weapon's flashing, that means it deals extra damage. Yep. Which I, I probably shouldn't have wasted that on that, but... It's important that, guys, we, it's important we, that we box kill? this guy in. Yes, because we don't want him to... What? What? I'm not gonna... Oh, he only had 8 health. Whoops. <laughs> Alright, well, I... Matthew might be taking some damage. That's okay. You want him to go rescue her? Uh, yeah, ideally, and then bring him back. I will go get it, and then bring it back. Yeah, froggy. What? I was not quoting Big the Cat. Oh, All you right. weren't? Okay. <laughs> I was quoting uh, Doug from Up. Oh, I only saw Up, like, once. Oh, you're missing out. It's a good movie. Definitely not Pixar's best. Oh, whoops, like I forgot lot, he had the rapier. A lot of people well, think it help. is Pixar's best, or one of them. No, no it's not. I'd say it's one of the worst, if not the worst. I enjoyed Up, but uh, it, it, was Actually, the first, it was the first Pixar movie that I noticed where I'm like, there's some pacing problems here. Like, it's it's still a great movie. Uh, okay, I'm going to rephrase that. Not the worst, but it's my least favorite. Really? You'd rather watch Cars 2 than Up? Yeah. Oh, dang. Up, I just, like... I'm not a huge fan of sad movies, and Up's pretty sad. At the beginning. Then it's happy. Yeah, the guy tries to kill them. <laughs> yeah, but it's all fine, and then he falls- spoilers for Up, he falls off a- a blimp and dies. <laughs> Spo I'm gonna have to put a spoiler alert for Up at the beginning <laughs> of this episode. People will be like, what the heck, it's Fire Emblem! <laughs> okay, Priscilla, how old do you think she is? <laughs> uh, 16. Yeah, alright. Also, feathers in your hair is all the fashion these days. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that's a. F what did you think it was? I don't know, like a, a fashionable beret. A beret? Not a beret, <laughs> uh, like a hairband type thing. Okay. Also, like Elwood, she has like tomato red hair. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Giving her the energy ring is like your best decision. Oh yeah, she, I, like I said, if with a little help, she's. Probably the best archer in the game. With a little rusties and an insane amount of luck, you two can look like me. Cut out. Cut out. I forget who killed that cavalier last turn. That guy didn't kill. Nobody. We didn't have a javelin, so he must have attacked. What? Oh, he attacked Matthew. Uh, that's <laughs> that's, that's way right. too risky. <laughs> Darn it, I thought Barry was gonna get that. You gotta plan that out ahead of time, man. Extra layer of strategy. Ah, oh, man. We're bringing more strategy. You know, strategy I still don't really know if game. I'm gonna use Barry, so I guess that's fine. Most of the characters I have, I'm probably not gonna use Dorcas, realistically. You everybody, shouldn't. Everybody I'm just gonna else, say you shouldn't. Everybody else I'm playing. I can summon oh. Marcus. Uh, do you want him back here? Yeah, drop him, like, next to Sarah. Okay. He's not gonna move on his own. Yeah. Okay, so Urk is a green unit. You need to have Sarah talk to her. And Urk hates Sarah. Also, this is like the only time this Sultan plays in the game. Is between Sarah and Urk. 
Sarah is, she's a great character because everybody hates her because she's super obnoxious. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I guess she's kind of one note, but I always think she's funny. Like, everybody's like, oh boy, this chick. And everybody knows a Sarah, too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'd Urk be, is our first magic guy you I'd get in the game. I'd be very careful putting him there. What do you mean? He's, there's the archer who can reach him. That's it. Okay. Well, you're going to have to move Ella. Oh, well, I guess you're right. So, Urk is like you're a fine, weakling at fine. the beginning, but he deals a ton of damage. Oh, need to turn on combat animations for him. Where are you, Urk? There he is. Alright. I always... Okay, so playing this game back in the day, I was always upset that you couldn't recruit a... Uh, um, like... Oh! oh Oswin! Shame. And of course that guy hits them. No, no, I was always upset you couldn't recruit just a normal soldier with the spear. I thought that would be really cool, even though they're, like, they super suck. easy to kill. I know, but I was just like, that's, like, the one unit type you never get. Also, suck is the most risque thing I can say on my channel. Oh, really? Pretty much. Oh, man. You can't say bleep, bleep, or bleep. I'm not bleeping that out. <laughs> oh, although it always does the critical at the end. I mean, that's kind of just, like, the fire emblem. Yeah, I guess that's true. Thing. Unless you have Jafar. Yeah. Jafar is super. My most oh, Elwood, advisor. Elwood's wounded. I need to get him out of there. <laughs> Bart Ray. Okay, I think I've decided I'm using Lowen. He's pretty high level. Well, I mean, why would you not use Lowen? I Lowen, think he's, uh, if you don't, he do might be the best Cavalier in the game. He might be him or Kent. Oh, I hope I get Kent. I don't want Sane. If if you have a choice between Kent or Sane, I say you get Kent, I get Sane, because I don't really want to use either of them. Either way, I mean, like Either I said, way, can, if I get trade. Kent, I'll trade Kent for Sane. Okay, I was going to say, or like, I probably don't need Will, if you want an archer. <laughs> the thing is, I'm... I know you're not a big archer fan, but... Especially if you don't level up Will in that win story a little bit, he's not great. He's just kind of like, and one he's like left, Rebecca who doesn't dodge. Fodder. He's a character who would die pretty fast, potentially, in this playthrough. Yeah, because he doesn't dodge, like, ever. Ever, yeah. Which is why Rebecca is clearly better. Lowen is not doing well, either. I mean, he's fine on this one. Well, but... well, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, pirates! Here's another creepy dude. I don't know. Oh, yeah. so, don't say he's one of the better-looking ones. Do they try to go and kill Priscilla? They try to... Basically, pirates will... And, uh, to a certain extent, bandits will go to, like, the nearest village and then just destroy it. So we gotta beat them to Priscilla's village, basically. Oswin's coming! <laughs> I might as well. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can do this over again. Uh, yeah, should I attack the archer? Honestly, the archer's not going to do a whole lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring Bart in. It was already a little beat up, but you know, it's cool. Please hit! hit. Thank you, Bartray. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be so dumb if he missed. Yeah. See, if this was Fire Emblem 6, he probably would. See, and I know you've played a little bit of that. I have not. I don't really usually play emulators, just because... Not, not even for the legality factor, it's just kind of a, a pain for me. <laughs> I don't know, like, I've just never really gotten into that. Yeah. Um, that said, I I, that was like one of my biggest like what they're not bringing that game to America like really. Oh shoot, Lowen only has ten health. Yeah, get, get, that, get that boy out of there. And darn it, Urk can't kill. That. And I can't really do much down there either because I don't have any guys down there. Okay, how far can that guy move? Pretty far. Yeah, he can move pretty far, but he will not be able to reach Urk if he moves. Yeah. No, but he can get Sarah then. No, he can't. Uh, well, yeah, but I can put like Elwood on the bridge or something. I'm basically, basically like, my guys can't Urk, my guys can't reach any of those units. I don't Dorcas think. can. Yeah, but he's also kind of beat. Or no, no, he's not. <laughs> Marcus can send Dorcas in and save the day. He can hit that guy at the very least. See, I'm wondering, do I put Urk down there, finish that guy off, and then have Lowen finish him off? Urk can I mean, take. You should Urk be fine. Can if take you do one that. hit. So, I just really hope he hits. He'll hit. No, Urk. <laughs> Oh, Urk might be dead. Urk might be dead. And then actually. I can't get Priscilla. Right? Because only Urk can get Priscilla. No, anyone can get Priscilla. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we're fine then. <laughs> Sorry, we're Urk. fine then. <laughs> Urk is a goner. Actually, Lowen might be a goner if he doesn't get out of there. Yeah, uh, if Urk had hit, Lowen could have taken out the archer and he would have survived. So Dorcas, I think, can get the archer. 
But Lowen can't, can't get, that, get guy. that guy, though. That's really? the problem. <sighs> Does he have Vulnerys? Risky maneuver? Oh. Actually, that's probably your smartest thing. I respect that. So that's a, an that example just puts of Rebecca rescuing. in, like, huge danger. That was, was that our first rescue besides Marcus on that last yeah, level? Yeah, that was our first rescue. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to introduce that on the last level. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I feel like, okay, left. here's the thing. I, do you feel like most people who are watching your Let's Play of this have played this game before? Eh, I, I feel know. like I feel like this is a weird one to just Honestly, like, most of the people, as of right now, of this recording that uh, watch my YouTube videos are from the Lemmings forums. Gotcha. So shout out to all you lemmings forums guys. Yeah, they're all really and nice. Gals, probably. <laughs> I have yet to meet any gals on the okay. lemmings forums. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to assume. <laughs> then again, it could, there could be. I'm sure there's some nice ladies out there. Oh yeah. Who like lemmings? <laughs> right. I mean, they have. Yeah, to be. there has to be <laughs> statistically. <laughs> Do I risk this? Honestly, Dorcas might die if he misses. <laughs> <laughs> Just because, like, he's probably not going to dodge any I think Marcus can probably get out there, too, though. Oh, that's true. He can kill the guy up and towards the village. I'm going to risk it. Okay, thank you. With the hand axe, not yeah. the steel axe? No, the steel axe, everybody will attack twice with him. Oh, good thinking, Toad. That's, like, the second time I think you've used that reference in the You movie. used it the first time. Oh. I'm just repaying the favor. Why would you do that? <laughs> like, well, she can't get anybody else and I can't keep her there. You can just move her back across the bridge. I can. There's no shame in retreating. Okay, so Marcus has to kill this dude on top, basically. Pretty much. I'll take one for the team and use Marcus. <laughs> he has to attack twice, though. See, Marcus, he's slowing down <laughs> in his old age. That normally would have been a one-hit kill. Yeah, if he was on the lance, first that, level. That, uh, if that was a silver lance, that would have been a one-hit kill. Oh, yeah, in Hector's story, Marcus has a silver lance. Also... Okay, Silver Lance, isn't that, like, a more brittle metal? <laughs> well, yeah, so it breaks more easily. Yeah, but wouldn't it be weaker, too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Just wait for them to have a Gold Lance. I know in uh, Awakening, they had the glass weapons, where it's, they're really powerful, but they only have three uses. So it's are they actually powerful? They are. They're, I oh. think they're, like, as powerful as the Silver Weapons. That kind of annoyed me. I was not a big fan of that. <laughs> no. Awakening had so many weapons where it's like, oh, it has, like, free uses. To oh, you got a stick. It's technically a sword. It's like, really? Oh, shoot. Oh, oh he's Bart fine. Ray. He dodged. Oh, he good. Bart Ray, yeah. I think Bart Ray actually has less skill than Dorcas. I think Dorcas is more accurate than Bart Ray is. Really? I think he is. I mean, I guess there has to be a first. He's hitting a lot. That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Bart Ray, I am super impressed with your dodging skills. Uh oh, Hannah's bones. Her ache. bones ache. Signs, Signs point, point to rain, rain, everybody. We all know old people's uh, bones never lie. They right. don't. It's like one of the first. That's the first thing they teach you at college. I, I don't. That's not the first thing I learned at college. Oh well, we went to the same school too. So <laughs> yeah. What does that tell you? Uh, I think it means that orientation has changed since. You yeah, apparently. There. Back in my day, that was the first thing they taught people at school. <laughs> uh. All right. We started this one by actually talking about Fire Emblem. Well, okay, here's my thing, though. This is a long game, so either you're just talking about Fire Emblem a lot, which is cool, or you're adding some fun flavor text. Hopefully and fun I'm, flavor And I'm very text. glad I'm not doing this as a solo. Let's maybe play. I, I would not be able to talk maybe, for this Maybe long. all your comments would be like, I hate this Link guy. Like, get rid of him. My goodness. <laughs> or they might be like, you should just turn your like, YouTube channel into like a co-op with Link. I kind of doubt that. I mean, we have... I think we have pretty... Oh, I should get Well, here. Link, you haven't really seen my other YouTube videos, have you? Uh, I, okay. I watched... Oh, what did I watch? I watched we, your... Most of your uh, Oracle of Seasons. Okay, at the beginning play. of that, people... Terrible audio quality, but by episode 5 it's better. I promise. I thought it was cool, just because that's like a weird... Th like, I love that game. That was my first Zelda game. Yeah. Um, I have a huge, huge <laughs> special place in my heart for that. Did you see the final boss battle? That was free. I did not, actually. I should go back and watch that. I, you're, um, you're probably going to yell at me like, Hey, you use save states! That's cheating! Believe me, it was required. <laughs> oh, no, I, I mean, I guess I believe it. Although I feel like save states take away... The authenticity of it? Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, maybe not. I don't know the community as well as you do. I, like, I, I guess, like, I, I don't know. Basically, like, that boss, if there's, like, a move he can do where it's pretty much just down to random chance whether you can dodge it or not. And I didn't want to have to restart the whole battle just because of that. 
that's true. I don't know. I want. Anyways, and I, I watched, didn't abuse. I watched that one. I watched um, a lot of your. Uh, oh shh. Puppet, puppet saves the moon. Or puppet, puppet saves the moon. You called it that too. Good. I, oh no. I'm, I'm sorry. What is it called? Puppet goes to the moon. Yeah, goes to the moon. Uh, it would be so much cooler if he did save the moon. In all honesty, <laughs> just because I, I wanted I, to watch you. I wanted game. to watch you suffer through bear storming. Oh, okay. I have beaten a lot of hard games. I've beaten Zelda 2, I've beaten Lemmings, I've beaten, like, Lemmings ROM hacks, but Bear Stormin is easily one of the hardest games I've ever beaten. So you're saying it's the Dark Souls of Humongous Entertainment games? Absolutely. Okay. The Bear well, Stormin was just ridiculous. You better, uh, you better put Dark Souls as a tag in this so you get all the hardcore Dark Souls people who are like, <laughs> Okay, he's not anywhere near as hard as Dark Souls. He's not in the name of the good Dark Souls community. <laughs> They're intense, man, I tell you. Okay, I believe it. Uh, I have not played Dark Souls myself, I've just heard it's really, really hard. Yeah, uh, it's on my list to play eventually. I'm just kind of too much of a wimp. <laughs> uh, like, I feel like I would be like, this game is cool, I immediately die, and I'm just like, this game sucks! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it would definitely be a learning process. Um, I, I, th I think you should beat Zelda 2 one of these days. It's uh, that's so a, hard, that's but one of the few, okay. so accomplished I have not beat beaten... It. There are only a few Zelda games I've not beaten. I've not beaten either DS one, despite owning them both. I am very <laughs> far in both of them, so those are on my list to beat eventually. Oh uh, no, not really. I technically have not beaten Link's Awakening, which is uh, that I, that I, had one of the most legitimately hard Zelda dungeons ever. Eagle Tower is just absolutely okay, insane. So my, here's my story with Link's Awakening. I have never I never owned it until I had a 3DS, which I uh, thankfully through Club Nintendo I got it. Uh, for free as one of their mm -hmm. free downloads back when Club Nintendo was still a thing. Rest in peace, Club Nintendo. Oh, I loved Club, Club Nintendo. Club Nintendo was great. Um, so, I, but back in the day of, of Game Boy Colors and Game Boy Black and Whites, I borrowed it from a friend of mine who was, <laughs> he introduced me to Zelda, basically, we'll just say that. And I made it all the way to Eagle Tower. I played it, like, all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Basically made it, found it, made it to Eagle Tower, and... I forget, did he have the DX version he, or the original? I think it was DX. Okay, because DX actually sealed up all of the places where you can irrevertibly screw up. Okay, maybe it was the original then, because that's exactly what happened. I got to a place where... In Eagle Tower. In Eagle Tower. To carry around. I threw a ball. I had, you had to carry this ball around. You threw I, it off a cliff. I threw the ball. I missed. And it never grew back, and I could not. Yeah, that was only in the black and white version. Okay, well, that's what it was then. And it, I was so mad because that's well, yeah, like 20 that, hours of progress uh, down the drain eagle tower it, like that is the only zelda dungeon i have ever gone in where i just was like i literally have no clue what the heck to do i could explore pretty much the whole dungeon yeah. from the gate out and i just had no clue it, where to yeah, go yeah and it just made me mad so I, I literally spent like two hours wandering around the dungeon oh, i believe I it that dungeon's confusing as butt because it's like it's got those like remember the Oracle games? They had like the blue and red switches that like go up and down as yeah. the platformers. Yeah. It had those except they were all orange, so there was right. no because telling the them was apart. Design, because the, the game was designed for black and white. <laughs> but it had the color dungeon too. <laughs> and that was just in DX though, right? Yeah, I didn't do the color dungeon until the very end. I should have done it earlier on since you get the tunics that make the rest of the game easier. <laughs> oh. I think the one of the tunics is in the original. I don't remember. Anyways, that's a great game, and I should go back and beat it eventually sometime. You too. really should. Turtle Rock, which is the final dungeon, is huge, but it's not too hard. Yeah. I know, like, a lot of people were, that's way harder than Eagle Tower. Well, okay, so, uh, um, I have a confession. Um, I did, because Zelda allows you to have multiple folders, a I did... A fire and an okay. extra heal. That's fine. Um, I did play my friend's folder and beat the final boss and see the end. Are you kidding me? No, because I felt I felt ripped off of the dungeon, you know? I was like, I'm I not gonna- Yes, but wow. <clears throat> oh, no, no, he had beaten it too. Oh, it's when? Not... Okay, Cliff, I'm, let me clarify. He had beaten the game already and had saved before the final boss. I didn't like beat the final boss for him. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so that would have been- That would, that would be a, that would a, be a terrible part. friend move like, to do, so. Um, Can the rain please clear up already? Huh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Oswin is so much better than that guy. That guy is literally the same person. He just killed his twin. Oswin is a deeper shade of reddish I orange. I guess. Oswin's like red and orange or like red and gold. That guy was red and white. It's a subtle difference. Oh, come on! Will the rain just end already? No, it will not. Uh, who else needs healing? Guy, do you need healing? Um... America. 
Murica. Marcus needs healing. Oh, we haven't talked about Murica. I forgot about that. I feel like they talk about your name. Oh, well, it they, was they brought up in this episode briefly. I'm coming, Priscilla. <laughs> we killed the bandits. We're fine. Yeah. The thing is, like, you want to... St uh, also, Eric has a silver lance. And also, it's flashing oh. green, which means you get it. When Maybe we'll have Marcus kill him. Eric if we really need to. Hector, Wolfbale. Just put him I in the I can't have him betray a friend. Hector hates <laughs> Eric. <laughs> and Eric despises Hector, so it works out. Okay, alright. Also, you do get a special cutscene if Eric is the one who goes to the village of where Priscilla is. Oh, let's just get to the village where yeah. Priscilla is. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I can't believe Oswin is going to be the first one to get there. Unless it's like, oh, he's one square short next turn. America. <laughs> also, Cavaliers are super slow in the rain. I hate it. The rain's terrible. <laughs> Is there anybody who actually enjoyed the rain? Raindrops are falling on my head. head. I'm not going to sing any more of that song because I don't want you to get a copyright infringement. I don't have monetization on, so I don't think that'll happen. Just in case. <laughs> I'll just cut that one part out then. <laughs> <laughs> that song always makes me think of Spider-Man 2, which should tell you about how old I am. <laughs> Oh no, Oswin's not going to make it this turn! <laughs> so I guess. Or no, Oswin's still going to be the guy who makes it though, since I get to go first on the next turn. Iron Bow? Want an Iron Axe for Hector? <laughs> yeah, just in case. Yeah, so he had to send that to Merlinus. You know what? Maybe we should just. Within reason, share money. Just because I'm already kind of losing track of how much. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Has. I'm not going to go in a shop and spree with. Ah, blew all my cash! <laughs> you need our cash. Uh, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> right. right. Is that all your guys? Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, God, Priscilla. Yeah, I don't think... I think Oswin should go back. He's not going to get to Priscilla. No, he's going to get there next turn. Oh, you're right, because you moved before me. Oh. Yeah. Perducci. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was from Strongbad's The Point and Click Game. I, I think you should do a Let's Play of Strongbad's Cool Game for Attractive People. I think that game has kind of bad language for my channel, though. Does it? They say things like, What the <laughs> And I mean the mind, the mind, the mild. <laughs> That's good. I mean, uh... I don't know. Honestly, I may thing. have accidentally said that on my channel once, like in an old video. I feel like I probably might have already in this, like, first video. Yeah, I, I'm gonna watch all this extensively <laughs> in editing, though, so it's, it's fine. Whatever. You could just do a content advisory. I'm pretty <laughs> sure those games are all still E or E10. I mean, maybe you have better games to play than Strong Bad. Yeah! <laughs> I'm getting at least gift for all the Humongous Entertainment games first. Or you could always... I would do... At least the good ones. I would do Sam and Max over Strong Bad in all honesty. Oh, Sam and Max would definitely need, like, uh, This game is a strong team. Whoa! Hector did a critical. Oh, With yeah. the wolf bail, so it was kind I of... I was speechless. Anyways. I was speechless. Actually, he was looking at his phone. I, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, multitasking, you know. Whoa! Oh, man, best that level That is the up. best level up you can get, because you can't level up Constitution unless you use a Body Rain, or you actually upgrade Oh, I hope Elowood's okay, because I really don't want him to die. I really don't want to have to redo this level. I'll be mad. If we have to redo a level, do you want us to show the failed attempt in? I feel like we kind of have to, just because it's part of the experience. Yeah, right. Oh, Hector. Well, it gets another chance. Also, if you swing a weapon but you miss, it does not it expect does not one count, of the uses, unless good. you're using Bolting, Eclipse, or Purge. We'll get into those later in the run. Yeah. I hate Bolting so much. That's gonna kill me. I hate I Purge think. more, because Purge might not be quite as powerful, but it, like, always hits. Purge is on, like, one level, though, isn't it? Purge is on a few. It depends. Uh, are we gonna try to kill that one dude who makes you not be able to use magic? Honestly, there's really no reason to kill Kashuna because because we're not doing Hector's story. Yeah. Okay. If there's oh, you get, if you kill him three, t is it all three times? If you kill him all three times, you get the special ending. Okay. I would not have put it there, but all right. Uh, the reason I bought fire is because it's much more accurate than thunder. It is. But thunder is slightly more powerful and is better. Well, you know what they say about thunder, or I mean lightning. It always never strikes thunder. Twice. Oh. I thought you were going to say Thunder always comes after lightning. Look at you!
Ah, oh, Sarah, you're one EXP away. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I, the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty much all of my playthroughs I always get to here with Oswin first. <laughs> really? Just because I always have Marcus go up. Marcus, you have to send Alright, so here we get Priscilla. She's a troubadour. She's like a healer on a horse. Sounds pretty cool, but I personally like Sarah more. As a unit, not as a person. Well, obviously, she's kind of a... Oh, no, she's not a terrible person, but... She's, but really she's just annoying. the person who just drains all the energy from the room. Where you're just like, oh, I'm just done with life because Sarah's in this room. Yeah, okay, I don't want to move anyone in range of Eric, and... Yeah. Hector's almost in range of Eric. Yeah, so if I move here, I'll just be out of range. Lowen's gonna hit. He's never missed Lowen. Never missed Lowen! Oh, yeah! He, he could hit the broadside of a barn. How, and, and how? With that magical blue hair that covers his eyes. It's green. Okay, his magical teal, teal it's hair. Teal. <laughs> Eric looks so smug. Okay. Also, he Eric is a boss in Spyro Emblem 6. <laughs> Eric basically looks like... Um, oh, what is that guy's name? Is he a boss in Fire Emblem 6? He is. Oh, man. Um, Eric Crit? basically looks... Oh, whoa! Out of wood! And of course oh, he takes a lance to luck. the face. Oh, what, what is that guy's name? Who are you talking about? Like, okay, there's an the actor. Thing? He's the guy who's... Uh, the. I think the only thing you've probably seen him in is he's... Um, uh, like, the, the leader of the evil scare fraternity in Monsters. Oh, Universe. I don't know that actor. That guy thing. looks exactly like Eric. Okay. He also kind of looks uh, like Nathan here. Drake. Um, Nathan Drake eats at Subway, by the oh, way. Oh, shoot. He's in Firefly, which is a great show. I can't think of his name. Yeah, Nathan Drake <laughs> does eat at Subway. <laughs> uh, if you, if anybody's confused as to what that's about, just YouTube Nathan, Nathan Drake, Drake Subway. Subway commercial, or just Subway, and it'll come up. They did a Subway commercial for Uncharted 3, where he breaks into a building, punches a guy, and is like holding a sandwich instead of a gun. It's the dumbest And you can also thing. unlock a Subway t-shirt in Uncharted multiplayer, apparently. It's, y yes, you can. And you can trust me, because I have never played Uncharted before. Uncharted is great. I love the Uncharted games. I've seen you play it. It looks really frustrating. <laughs> The, the platforming is kind of frustrating to me. If oh, so just... it sounds kind of like Kingdom Hearts 1 in that regard. Sure. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 1 does not have great platforming. I'm gonna You're buy... You're gonna want a heal staff, because yes, she wants a mend. I thought you were gonna buy free. <laughs> nope. Nope. Hey, nobody got time for that. Also, this is the last level that will have this annoying music. Is it? Yes. Oh. Next level, we get the music track called Companions. Should I put Hector in range of Eric? Um. If I bring Marcus close enough. It, will he be in range of the axe guys? Yeah. Is there a way to lure the axe guys out first? Yeah. I'll, it'll just be slow. Yeah, I better safe than sorry because if if he gets hit by the silver lance and the axe, he might die. And if any lord dies, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, Eric looks like a dude who cares about appearances. Look at that, he's like, <laughs> I he's don't know what you mean. He's got the perfect comb-over. It's not even a comb-over, he, he has pretty good hair, let's be honest. Alright. Okay. I just meant his hair was combed I'm over. I'm gonna try to kill him with Rebecca. Or Matthew. Good luck with that. Matthew, no, there's he, no way. I doubt not, Matthew can even damage her. He's Irk. not that good. Alright, let's see. <laughs> I, I doubt he can damage Irk. She could do it. She could. You'd have to move so much. Okay, I'm not going to have Hector do the damage, so... Alright, alright. He's not. He's going to miss at least once. Nope, he's got this. Wow, alright, Hector. See, I believe I you, Hector. I believe in you all along, Hector. Never doubted you for a sec. Thanks, Slinky Dog. <laughs> Dally, bye, badly. Would you ever do a Let's Play of Toy Story 2, the action game? Oh, heck yeah. If Is I could it? ever get it to work on my computer. Okay, alright, alright. Matthew oh, is a <laughs> Okay, Coach Grimsley, you were right. <laughs> that is a deep Arthur cut. Have you made Arthur references on your show before? Oh, I... With how many videos I have, I'm sure I've made Arthur references. Arthur is a great, un highly underrated kid show. Uh, if you didn't have cable growing up, it was pretty much the greatest show of all time. Uh, at least pre-season 9. Okay, great. we're talking the older episodes. Yeah, because it's only like season 20 now. It should have stopped at season 9. <laughs> or 8. Oh yeah, there's always that one stupid Myrmidon in the upper left corner you have to chase. 
Hey, we got through another level with nobody dying. I know it's kind of premature, but there's only one guy left. I don't think anybody's going to die. <laughs> well, honestly, after this point, we're going to have a lot of oh, no, wait, offense, oh, kind of expendable and, uh, units. There's these guys. Oh, they're heading to Marlenis. I got this. Marcus has this. <laughs> what you could do is have Marcus rescue somebody and then take them over there. <laughs> That's what I was debating, but... Eh. I think just I'm take him over just in case. The iron blade is slightly more powerful than the iron sword, but it's a lot heavier. <gasps> oh, Priscilla can just wait, I don't care. Okay. Well, she could heal Oswin. Yeah, go for it if you want. Well, I mean, there's no reason why not. Don't use my mend staff. Mend is basically heal, but it heals more. Yeah. I, okay, so one of the things I always have kind of wanted to do is use the teleport staff more, because it's pretty cool. <laughs> you don't get the warp staff until pretty late in the game, though, which is annoying. You can use it to go oh, to that whoa. secret shop, though. There is one secret shop in the game that you have to use the teleport staff to get to. But and it sells, it, like, all upgrade items. Yeah, and it's at the very end of the game, where it's like, if your characters aren't upgraded by now, uh, you're probably not going to survive. Oh, this is going to be a long video, unless you decide to split it in two. Oh, I'm totally splitting it in two. Okay, I was going to say, I'm looking at it right now. It's like it's, an hour, at least. It's at an hour and 11 minutes. Yeah. Although, I guess, uh, you know, this really, is just kind really. of a like behind the scenes for all you people who are like, oh, it's actually at the 25 minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> I love your voice. Um, actually. Darn it! I keep forgetting to unequip that rapier. That's okay. Uh, we'll get two more. Or, no, just one more in the game. You get two more wolf bales if you're playing Hector's story. <laughs> Mark ass. This also might be close to the time where we should probably turn off all combat animations. <laughs> I mean, I think for certain new characters it would be cool, or we can maybe like pick. Like, I guess for the sake of keeping these videos shorter, maybe we'll turn like selectively turn it off. Irk! Come on! You know what I mean? Like we could yeah. select it, like be like. See, the problem is I want to use Irk, but he's not cooperating. Actually, I'm not using Bart. Ray. Why don't you just have Ella would get it with the uh, Iron Sword? Don't stink! Oh shoot! Was that the last enemy? Or is there nope. one more pirate? There's one more. Okay, that's Marcus. good. That way we can heal more. I think there's one more at least. Oh. Great level Everyone's up. Everyone's gotten some really cruddy level ups. Yeah. Thank you for using the word cruddy, by the way. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you have probably have said other things, but you, know, <laughs> you can go through and figure it that's out. Fine. That's fine. I might not censor that. It's a pretty common word. Well, I mean, other bad words are pretty common too. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. That's a good <laughs> point. All right. Can I do the honors? You may do the honors. Priscilla might want to heal before that, though. Hmm. She can heal Dorcas or Bartway, whoever that is. The reason you do that, guys, just so you, I think he's mentioned it, is just to get extra experience. Yeah, because the, the healers, healers level up. Rubes they're level very up. hard to level up, and even though you can level them up at level ten, you really don't want to. No. See, this is where abusing the arena really comes in handy. I'm sure the I'm sure the hardcore people are like they can't believe that I'm using Marcus, but. For the no, the hardcore speed. people are going to be applauding you because apparently they're like, Marcus is the greatest! <laughs> oh yeah, he, Eric doesn't die, obviously, because he's in Fire Emblem 6. Fire Emblem 6 is a... Oh no, I was going to say, Fire Emblem 6 is a prequel. But I'm like, oh, no, it's <laughs> no, not. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the prequel. <laughs> Does he have like a, at least like a sweet goatee or something in that? I don't remember. I think he just looks like more wrinkled. And a little okay. balder. How many years later does that take place? Um, well, I mean... Are you saying after, like, the epilogue of this game, or after, like, the main game of this game? I'll say after the main game. Um, well... Because the epilogue like, looks like he's in his 40s, How so many years later is, is, uh... I think it's... I don't know! It's gotta be at least 8, because I think Roy is 8 in the epilogue of this. Roy technically is in this game, but he's just... Yeah, he's a... Like, very brief cameo. Uh, but he is our boy, literally, because he's a <laughs> he child. He really is game. our boy. Spoilers, by the way. Also, the lesser-known Lilina is also in this at the end. Yep. Spoilers as well. So you're gonna have to put spoilers Actually, for both this and up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm just maybe I should make that my thing where every every video I make, I'm gonna spoil, gonna spoil some something. totally random thing. All right, we can make that a shtick. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Color Forty. I'm Link the Hero Sixty Four. And we'll see you for the next episode. Have a great day and God bless. Bye.